So really, it boils down to one single video. And that surprises me because as a creator, there's this feeling that the more effort you put in, the more success your channel is going to see. That that's going to have a snowball effect and you're going to get more and more subscribers, more views on YouTube and really increase in visibility. And that just really didn't happen for me. But the thing that really surprises me is that it wasn't so much about my uh, content over the course of the entire channel. It was all about one video, one video in which everything was right. The topic wasn't even something I wanted to devote my channel to. My channel is about innovation and uh, being an entrepreneur. About a month into my channel, I wanted to make a video about some of the things that I did to invest in my house hack and to create some passive income. And so I did a review on my Tesla solar panels. And that was the one video in which everything about the formula was just right. I got almost all of my thousand subscribers at the time when I hit 1,800 were from this one single video. And then the other 200 were about another video that I did to follow up on that. If we look at the narrative of all of my videos, I start off with episode one, the wealth vlog, where I think I'm about to make a channel about growing wealth, passive income. So. This is the first video in what I'm calling the wealth vlog. And I make a few videos about that. And, uh, you know, I'm showing my friends, my family on Facebook. They're watching my stuff. I'm getting a few dozen views. I make one that's worth over 100. I'm, I'm starting to get excited. And then I start to research YouTube and I start to really strategize about how I want to build my channel. And I come up with an idea for a video that could be a lot more popular a video about Tesla and something that I thought was unique to me because I had recently renovated my home and I had had these solar panels for a year, Tesla solar panels, uh, before they were really uh, widely available. I thought, well, since I not only have these panels, but I've had them for a year, let me make a review about that, a one-year review of Tesla solar panels. So I come out with Tesla solar and Powerwall one year, 133,000 views. We look at the analytics and you can see that it took about four weeks before the video really took off. And when it did, it took off 2,000, 5,000 views in a single day. From that, 913 of my subscribers have come from this one video. I only have 1,300 subscribers. The revenue that I've made, if we look at it on a monthly basis, $174, look, I'm only making $294 a month right now. So 174, there's still $120 of revenue to account for. So we take a look at what happened after making that video. So it took four weeks. Uh, this one I published at the same time. So this was the first week after that, 107 views. Second week after publishing it, 776 views. Okay, not bad. 225 views. 100 views, and then the Tesla video starts to take off, and I realize I need to follow up. So I release this uh, Powerwall and a car combo, 1,000 views, and then I follow that up with, is the Tesla Powerwall worth it? This video has 31,000 views, and it's taken off a lot the same way that the first Tesla video did, where the first month, steady growth and then all of a sudden it just shoots up and it hasn't stopped since. So in a single month, I'm making $112 on a single video. I said I needed to account for $120. That's 112. That means every other video I make, and there are 38 of them, accounts for the remaining $8. This is this monetized my channel for me. This got me the 1,000 subscribers. And so my advice for somebody with a new channel, my advice for anybody who's waiting to monetize, you may be frustrated where there are months of a dry period, but there may be one video that perfectly fits that like little hole that YouTube needs to fill to drive viewers towards. And when that video falls into that place, Everything can happen at once for you. After the third video that I made about Tesla, I realized I had a problem. The problem is really twofold. One, I didn't start the channel to make 
Tesla videos. I had a bigger vision than that. But two, even if I wanted to modify my vision, I'm currently living in Japan on a military deployment. I can't easily, like, touch my panels, drive my car. All of that stuff is back in the States. I don't really think I have the credibility to keep making Tesla videos for a product that I am not even around right now. Uh, so I needed to step away from that. And it took me a while to figure out what I would do after I stepped away from it. So things went along. And finally, actually, um, I took on a challenge to make 10 videos in a row about one single topic. So several months ago, I was watching a video by a creator, Jeevan, and he challenged the viewers to make 10 videos in a row that were all on one topic. And I thought that's the one thing I haven't tried yet. I haven't really stuck to one single uh, subject. The thing that I can sustain, the thing that I can make content about forever is programming because that's what my business is about. That's what I do every single day. I will never run out of programming content. And I thought, well, what I can do is I can start with teaching people how, like what I've done, uh, how to set up a company by building apps. And so I started a web development for beginners series. You know, as a creator, you ask viewers to write in the comments to you know, let you know if they have questions, if they like what you're doing, to like a video. Uh, I do know that for now, with the responses that I've gotten on my channel, uh, focusing more on the more advanced material, on the Angular specifically, is what people want to see from me, and the beginning stuff, not so much. I think the best plan is to set aside the web development series. So if that saddens you, if you found out about my channel because of my beginning web development series, uh, then let me know and I will definitely get back onto that curriculum. Otherwise, next week I've got some really great stuff coming out about RxJS uh, that I'm going to be pouring a lot of effort into, more animations, and uh, yeah, that's what we've got coming along. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you next week. Bye.